Um, God is very fundamental and very strict when it comes to salvation. Amen. Jesus Because even though you go to church regularly, if you took that price, you would go to hell. That's you know we have to get that most of us to the Lord. When Jesus was here on this earth, how did he reveal himself? Who did he reveal himself to? He revealed himself to the prostitutes, to the, to the tax collectors, and to all the nobodies in this world. Hallelujah. That's why we don't need to deceive ourselves. Like this there is no need to pretend. Hallelujah. Christians are very good at pretending, but let's drop all the pretenses. Because God is not like hypocrites. Amen. Because it is not that we first loved God, but that He first loved us. So we just respond to the love that He has for us. I want to tell uh, this uh, funny uh, thing to the young people. If, let's say, I was, I'm interested in a, in a girl, if she was interested in me, then of course she will feel her heart flutter. Like, <laughs> because my love makes her heart <laughs> if if my love even makes another person's heart flutter and, and so you know so yeah. But the love of God is eternal. It's eternal love. Eternal love. So, if you have never experienced your, the love of Jesus, ask yourself today. Remember that He loves you so much that He died on the cross for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to challenge the young people. God wants to reveal Himself who He is through your lives. In the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 28. The Bible says, In the last days, I will pour out my spirit on all people. The Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit is going to fall on all the people, all the men, the women, and the young people, and the children. Why does God give us the power of the Holy Spirit? God gave us the Holy Spirit for us to understand and get a, re a revelation of the love that God has for us. 
Spirit, we cannot know God. Keep your eyes on the Spirit, we cannot know God. Keep your eyes on the Spirit, we cannot know God. Keep your eyes on the Spirit, we cannot know God. Keep your eyes on the Spirit, we cannot know God. Keep your eyes on the Spirit, we cannot know God. Keep your eyes on the Spirit, we cannot know God. Keep your eyes on the Spirit, we cannot know God. Keep your eyes on the Spirit, we cannot know God. Keep your eyes on the Spirit, we cannot know God. Keep your eyes on the Spirit, we cannot know God. Keep your eyes on the Spirit, we cannot know God. Keep your eyes on the Spirit, we cannot know God. Keep your eyes on the Spirit, we cannot know God. Keep your eyes on the Spirit, we cannot know God. Keep your eyes on the Spirit, we cannot know God. Keep your eyes on the Spirit, we cannot know God. Keep your eyes on the Spirit, we cannot know God. Keep your eyes on the Spirit, we cannot know God. Keep your eyes on the Spirit, we cannot know God. Keep your eyes on the Spirit, we cannot know God. Keep your eyes on the Spirit, we He is the one that changes us and makes us new. So we don't care about that anymore. I can't stop here. I'm going to be sorry. I'm going to go to the next level to meditate. The He only the Holy Spirit can lead us, the uh, believers, to live a life that that is full of faith. Do you know me? Do you know me? I want to encourage the young people today. Let them see how we are coming. No longer in a corporate life, but in a spiritual life. If you invite the Holy Spirit, He will come and live in your heart. Jadi kami doa apa yang disediakan di sana, di sini mah. In Revelation chapter three verse ten. Nanti nolong kita agak kau belum jaga tu. He says, I stand at the door of your heart. Dan semua pihak di sini jodoh nolong kita agak kau pakai ni. Today the Holy Spirit is knocking on the doors of our heart. Tuhan cuma tiada yang di sini. He wants to come in. Tuh jodoh kita agak kau buat usang di sini. He wants to lead us. Jodoh kita agak kau mampu di sini. He wants to uh, uh, drive our life. Nampak jika tu dia bawa kita ke sini. The Bible says that uh, Mary um, conceived, conceived Jesus through the Holy Spirit. Yes. And what does that mean? Is that when we receive the Word of God, it is through the Holy Spirit that we receive the Word of God in our heart. When Jesus uh, became flesh, He became flesh through the power of the Holy Spirit. Likewise, we are flesh, but in order to become spirit, we need the Holy Spirit. So unless you are born again with water and the Spirit, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Uh, we can see that the Holy Spirit works at the life of the believer. We can see He works two two things. Number one, He testifies in our life of that we are saved. And then. Uh, to continue to live a life of Christian, so that we can overcome all the temptations and everything in our life, but we need the power of the Holy Spirit. I also grew up as a young boy, as a, as a young person. If I did not have the Holy Spirit and the guidance of the Holy Spirit, the flesh is. Can always lead me astray because the flesh is also very strong. Those people who don't receive the power of the Holy Spirit, we can see that a lot of Christians have practiced. God's name is not glorified. They go back to their drinking. And they are moved far from God. I'm sure that they, you know, they are, if they are saved, they will not go to hell. But God will not be glorified through their lives here on earth. God wants to do great things through our life here on earth. God said to Jeremiah, 
Jeremiah. I knew you since you were in your mother's womb. But God has measured The God that uh, blessed all people through Jeremiah is the same God that wants to bless all people through your life. Especially, I want to encourage the Indiana people. I am telling you this because God Himself spoke this to me. Amen. There's something that God has told me to do here in America. So the, God told to me the very night that I arrived here in America, and so I told my host, and then I started on a three day fast immediately. Every time, even now, when I go to different states, the moment that I arrive, I go fasting for three days and I pray for that particular place. I have already fasted 10 days two times for Indiana. Indiana may have been may have had you know one of the worst names before, but don't worry. Then she know it Amen. Just be filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will fill you in your family. Don't think that like I'm just a child. God told Jeremiah, don't consider yourself as a child. The power of the Holy Spirit that is in an infant, in a baby, is the same power of, of God, of, of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I want to challenge and encourage the Indian you. God wants to bless America through you. God wants to reveal himself through you. Our theme for this seminar, Hope and Restoration to Your Family. We gave this the name of Hope and Restoration. So, when you go home, if you do not have hope, I want you to go home knowing that you have hope. Our hope is in Jesus Christ. I want you to go home knowing and have the greatest assurance that God can restore everything. Hallelujah. One day Jesus and and his uh, brothers, his parents went to Jerusalem. But on the way home, they left, they forgot Jesus in the temple, and Mary and Joseph just went home. They only realized that Jesus was not with them only after three days. They were so worried. They went back to Jerusalem to go and get their son. I want to encourage you. Don't just be with Jesus in church. Don't leave him in the church. Go with Jesus wherever you go. In the book of uh, the Gospel of John 15, he says, You cannot do anything apart from me. If you are apart from the word of God, if you are apart from Jesus, if you are apart from the Holy Spirit, just as Mary and Joseph got into trouble, many Christians can get into trouble. When you go to sit in class, sit with Jesus. 
teléfono. Si la papa, 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 papa,
and restoration to those around us, to our families, to our surroundings, to our church as well. Thank you, Jesus, that you will continue to bless and honor your name. And we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Because you alone are worthy of it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you.